Hey, on this most holy and glorious Sunday, we celebrate a number of saints who are vitally important to us as we begin the Nativity Fast tomorrow. Today, we remember the Holy Apostle Philip. This is one who does not get that much attention from us, but he should. For there is one thing that Philip is best known for, <clears throat> and that is his ability to tell people a simple phrase, come and see. And he says it in the Gospels repeatedly. And it is very interesting because this is what parishioners are called to do and to be. They are to be heralds in the world. Those patterned after the Archangel Gabriel who bring the good news of the Lord outside of the temple doors. It is vital that each and every one of you be the feet of Christ in the world, the feet of this parish in the world. And it is paired well today with the gospel about the Good Samaritan. And we hear here somebody who unexpectedly takes good care of someone else. We want people to say that about Orthodox Christians, that they are as generous of heart and of hand as they are of spirit. A lot of people clearly remark, and I will speak for this area of the world, that when they find a pious Orthodox Christian, they always say, there's something different about all of you. And I always say to them, because we live the heart of the Eucharist. We live the heart of the faith. We walk with the Holy Spirit in no less a way than Christ was with the disciples and the apostles. But today we also commemorate the Holy Emperor, the sainted Justinian, and his sainted wife, Theodora, the Empress. And they are particularly important for a number of reasons on top of their faithfulness, on top of their decision during his time as emperor to build many, many, many churches, the most important of which was the Hagia Sophia, which was the largest church in Christendom. It was built in Constantinople and still stands today in the modern city of Istanbul. And it is sad that the Turkish, the Turkish government decided to turn that back into a mosque. And I am grateful to God to have been inside of there before all of that happened. To be in that holy church, to touch the mosaic of the deesis, the icon of Christ, the holy Theotokos, and St. John the Baptist. To be where stood the earliest of Christian emperors, to be where stood saints, to be where stood holy and good people, right? And that's what we are trying to do here in this small and humble place in Galveston, Texas. And finally today, we celebrate once again St. Gregory Palamas, who for us and all of our people defined what it was that hesychastic prayer was for a late antique, antique and an early modern and now a modern world. He defined for us the doctrine, the theology, the spirituality around the uncreated light of which is based on the Feast of the Transfiguration which is so vitally important for we Orthodox. It should be for every Christian. For the Feast of the Transfiguration truly gives us the foretaste of what the kingdom of heaven is like. Because Christ reveals his heavenly body, his glorified body, made of light and of energy that it was so striking to the apostles, Peter, James, and John, that they could not bear to look at him. And the icon of the transfiguration, the three of them are throwing themselves on the ground and covering their eyes because they could not see the true divinity of Christ. And it was Gregory who fought 
with Barlon the Calabrian, apologies on behalf of all my people, that he who was thinking in a Western mind said it is not possible for God to come down and commune with mankind. And Gregory said, while it is true that the divine essence of God, the inner life of God, we will never and can never touch or know or see. But yet God in his energies sends to us himself. And that there was one of the proofs of it. That he is saying, I am giving you part of my essence so you know what I am, what I will be for you, and what you will teach humanity. And now 2,000 years later, here we are standing in a most diverse parish in a place far, far away from where it all started. But yet at the same time, our calling is the same. For each and every one of you are the feet, as I said, doing the work in the world. The deacon, and there will come a time sooner than later when we have one, his job will to be to use his hands, to use his hands to do the work of God, the aquania, to serve the community. And then there's the priest, whose knees are for the people of God, his frustrations, his prayers in silence for each and every one of the people who cross these doors and those who are from far away. So my dear brothers and sisters, on this Sunday, in which we get a foretaste of what is happening, tomorrow we start the Nativity Fast, right? Next week we celebrate uh, the presentation in the temple, and we see as we go forward what it was that Christ did in those early years, and still continues to do this day and every day that we celebrate the Holy and Divine Liturgy. I would like all of you to stay with me Today, we will be praying an Akathist hymn to <clears throat> the most holy and sainted last Tsar of Russia, Nicholas II, who founded this parish. So you could give us a moment to set up.